Mom! What, Jones? We're supposed to be doing Kids Explore. Oh my goodness. Let's do it. It's the Kate and Jody show. No, it's Explore. Oh, it's Explore Kids Ministry. Yay, guys. We are so happy to be here. Thanks for coming online again. We so enjoy having you. Jody, are you going to open and pray again for us? No, I think it's your turn, Mom. Okay. Jody, repeat after me. Kids online, parents online, repeat after me. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. We thank you. We thank you. For such a beautiful day. For such a beautiful day. Be with us this morning. Be with us this morning. Open our ears. Open our ears. Let us understand. Let us understand. What you are telling us this morning. What you are telling us this morning. We ask this in Jesus' name. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jody, <laughs> what's the time for now? Chestnut. Where's Chestnut? <laughs> oh no, guys, we didn't bring Chestnut this time. But next time we record at home, we'll have our special chestnut for you. Okay, let's do birthdays. Yes, yeah, so if it's your birthday, we're wishing you a happy birthday, but I think we need to sing them a special song. I think we might have a special video instead. We abused ah. you last time with our special song. We don't want to do it again. <laughs> My voice is terrible for happy birthdays. So here's the happy birthday song coming to you right now. Yeah. I heard it was somebody birthday. I heard it was somebody birthday. Yeah. PJ Penn a birthday song. Yeah. Yeah. Today is your birthday. We gon' say it loud. Today is your birthday. I know you're so proud. Today is your birthday. We gon' turn out. Candles like a kiss Throw a party, everybody bringing gifts yeah, yeah. Got a new outfit and it's lit yeah, yeah. Best day of the year, you can't miss All my friends, it's coming in And my parents raise my allowance yeah. I'm jumping around, yeah, up and down Hey, happy birthday, we gon' sing it now Thank you so much for the happy birthday song. And now we are going to do some worship. Yay! I love worship. <laughs> so what are we going to do? Well, to do worship properly, you can't be sitting down at home. You've got to be standing up. And I think I'm old. I need to do some stretches. Do some stretches. Show your mom. <laughs> Can you do a push up, Jodie? Actually, oh. I don't know. Come on, guys. You can do some push ups. Uh, oh, Jody. And as long as you're ready, as long as you lose I've done my exercise for the year. Let's focus on Jesus and worship Him with all our hearts. Amen. Amen. Amen.
love that. I love worship. It's so great to be able to sing to Jesus and just exalt Him. Okay, Jodes, there's something I always forget to do. What is it? It's the memory verse. It's the memory verse. That's because you've got to have a memory to say a... Uh, a verse? A memory verse! What? You got it, Jody. <laughs> okay, Jodes, do you remember where our memory verse comes from? No. <laughs> oh, Jody, you are useless. Acts... One verse <laughs> two, eight. Oh, love it. <laughs> one verse eight. That's right, Jody. Guys at home, please, you need to message Jody and just teach her this memory verse. She's useless. <laughs> All right. So Acts one verse eight, Jody says, okay. "You, you will, will receive power." She does know it. Power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you to be my witness, telling people. All over. Or everywhere. Oh, everywhere. In Jerusalem. Judea. Samaria and... Oh, I don't know. The farthest parts of the earth. Everywhere. That's exactly what it is. Okay, let's try it one more time. Act 1 verse 8. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you to be my witness. Telling people all over, everywhere. In Jerusalem, <laughs> Judea, Judea, Samaria, Samaria and, and the everywhere. Of you. Oh, okay. Well done, Jody. We almost got there. I'm sure you guys at home said it like a superstar. Thanks, guys. And now it's time for our very special storyteller today. We've missed her, the most fantastic lady in the we world. Have. Auntie Amanda. So good to have you back. We are all ears for your story. Thanks, Auntie Amanda. Hi, everyone. Amanda here. I'm here to do the After Kids lesson today for Kids Explore. Wow, it's been so hard not seeing you guys at church, but I'm really happy that the internet is here and we can communicate with each other and connect with each other through YouTube. Woohoo! Never thought I'd have a YouTube video on YouTube. Well, before we get started, we need to pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this beautiful day. I thank you for your love and I thank you for all the blessings you've given us. Thank you that you love us unconditionally. Lord, I pray that you'll give me the words to say that will help teach and educate these beautiful children all about you today. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry about that. My battery ran out. It went flat. Oh, so I brought my charger along. Make sure that I can get it right this time. Right. So before we get into our lesson for today, which is about the Holy Spirit being our power, we need to remember our memory verse. Who can remember it? You, you, you? Great, let's do it. Acts 1 verse 8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. That's such a cool verse, guys, knowing that we've got something that we can use to power us up. Not our own power, but God's power. That is amazing. So, when we think of power, we look at our electrical gadgets, our appliances our phones our tvs whatever we're using that needs to be plugged in and we realize that without that power they're quite useless we can't do anything with them when escom switches our lights off eh, we all grumble don't we but we have an everlasting power from god that will never run out will never be switched off and it's free you don't even have to download it or be in Wi-Fi or have data. It's everywhere and it's for you. Now, how do we know that the Holy Spirit is in us? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Well, firstly, 
we have to know that we've invited him in. It's a free gift. We don't have to, uh, don't have to pay for it. And we can ask Jesus to live in our hearts at any time, young or old. It's for you and everyone. Remember that our Bible that we read has so many nuggets of truth and so many things that we can learn from that we need to go and charge up. So how can we charge? We can charge up by praying. We can charge up by listening to worship songs. We're even watching YouTube Christian videos. Not those cat ones, guys. Hmm. All those funniest fails? Really? No. We can charge up with Christian music and beautiful things that we know are from God. That is an awesome way of knowing and remembering that God is with you. Now from the Bible, we read in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 about changing. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone and the new is here. So we see that we are changed and we go through a change. Now, just like a little caterpillar, if you've ever seen one on a nature video or if we look really carefully in this bush, I'm quite sure we'd find one. I'm not going to look for one right now because it'll take me far too long. But they nibble on the leaves and they munch on everything and they grow and grow and grow. And eventually, they wrap themselves up in a cocoon and go to sleep for a bit. Then they wake up and they've turned into a beautiful butterfly that shows everybody how beautiful they are and how awesome God's creation is. Now, just like that, we can change. We can stop being that grumpy, horrible person that is nasty all the time. We can accept Jesus into our hearts and change. And we can become more like Christ. Now, if you've never accepted the Holy Spirit into your life, accepted Jesus into your heart, let's do it now. It can be done anytime, anywhere, any age. Right, let's close our eyes and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. I love you and I want you to live with me in my heart. I pray for your love to fill me and teach me how to be more like you. In your loving name, I pray. Amen. Right, it may not happen perfectly. You may not feel an explosion in your head or in your heart. But you'll start to feel different. Little things will change. You'll feel sorry for that person who just fell. Not laugh at them. You might think, I want to help that person. And not walk, just walk past. So the Holy Spirit changes us. I hope that you've learned a lot today. Thank you so much for this beautiful opportunity to teach you guys. Now remember... You have to try to be more like Jesus. Less like ourselves, but more like Jesus. And that little phrase, WWJD, what would Jesus do? Always comes to my heart and to my mind when I want to think about something. What would Jesus do? And then I try to act. Hi guys! So for today we were going to make this cute little butterfly. Alright? But I decided, nah, let's do something really cool. It's an experiment. Right, so the experiment needs a plate, some milk, any milk, some dishwash liquid, and some food coloring. Mommy might have some. If she doesn't have some, you can just watch the video to see what happens. Right, so we're going to pour some milk into our plate. I got enough, that's enough! Oh, 
thanks Claire, you're right, that is just enough. Let's go. Next, we need some food coloring. Right, we're going to pour a little drop, if we can get a little drop, oops, of each color. Add it to the milk, but not on top of each other. Oopsie, that was a big drop. And one last little color, a little drop over here. There we go. Right, so as you can see, they're standing still. They're not moving around. But now when we add something, it's going to make a change. It's going to activate it. So have a look what happens when we add the sunlight liquid. Just a drop anywhere on the plate. What's happening, Claire? It's turning pink. Turning pink? Look at the colors, they're moving around. Now, when the Holy Spirit's in our lives, it helps us to move around, it helps us activate, it helps us do things we thought were impossible. This looks really cool. It looks impossible. Normally, the colors would just stay in one place, but these are moving around just because we added one thing. I hope you enjoyed the craft, guys. Hi, guys. It's the older kids' turn now. The little ones have had their craft and their fun, but I'm sure you enjoyed the craft too. Right, so all the kids, time for a bit of questions. It's your turn. Firstly, we've got some questions on the screen and you're going to think about them and answer them. Make sure that you answer them honestly. It's not just a, uh, a silly game. How often do you feel angry, unhappy or lonely? A. Never. B. Sometimes. Or C. Always. Hmm. I'm hoping that it's not always. Hmm. It might be sometimes or never. Right, next question. Have you invited Jesus into your life and asked the Holy Spirit to fill you? That's a yes or a no. If you have invited him, him in, do you sometimes feel far from him? Well, yes or no. Now, what should you do to charge up your battery to be more full with the Holy Spirit? Should it be A, pray and ask him in, B, read your Bible to see how you should live, or C, pray when you need help or your questions answered. Even D, all of the above. I think all of the above would be applicable here. Now, if you've answered those questions honestly and you feel that you're ready to accept Jesus, call your pastor or pray with your parents. It's important to have a good relationship with God and with your parents. I hope you have an awesome day ahead and for the older kids who are going to school, stay safe and we'll see you again.